Hi, hello friends, welcome to Brighter API. I am Milind Mehta. In this tutorial, we are going to learn our next hacker rank challenge, which is the SOC merchant. So let's go to our hacker rank account. So friends, this is our hacker rank account. So uh, let's we have completed all the warm up challenges and uh, uh, of all the first page we have completed 10 implementation challenge as well so we are going moving to now a uh, next our tutorial which is the soft button so let's try to understand and uh, solve this challenge okay so uh, here is our soft merchant challenge what it says that it says that john's clothing store has a pile of n blue socks where each socks i is labeled with an integer c of i denoting its color he wants to sell as many as socks as possible but his customer will only buy them in the matching pairs okay two socks i and j are the single match of pair c of i is equal to c of j okay now what what it says that given n and the color of each socks how many pair of the socks can john sell so basically we have multiple socks we need to match the color on the on the each and every sock we have written something id number if the both color is match and if it, it is making a pair or two two socks in the making with the same color then john can sell it else not okay so it says as an input that first line contains in the integer that and denoting number of the socks so how many socks is been there and the second lines of that c of 0 c of 1 c of 2 c n minus 1 that each uh, socks and with the i denoting the number okay so uh, from an example you can understand the 9 they have socks 10 20 20 10 10 30 50 10 20 okay so what they are they, they many socks from the explanation we can understand 10 10 10 10 and 20 20 so three socks pair can be made okay uh, so we have to find that now what they have given they have given one solution class and public static void main they have taken n number of socks and the sock c of i okay so how we will make of this logic what we need to do we need to basically match a couple okay a pair 10 10 okay 10 10 and 20 20 so we need to identify that if that both is pair has been covered okay so uh, as for the development so let's try to understand by the powerpoint okay and let's let's understand all the logic how we are going to made it okay so uh, basically what we will do first uh, we, we are getting this okay so uh, if we will do all the uh, socks or all the numbers into the arrays a r a r r a y s okay. arrays dot short if i will do a shorting so what we will have on us now we will have 10 10 10 10 20 20 20 30 and 50 so we have now all the socks in the now we just need to match it so we need to count all the total so we are just taking a variable a total and we need to now match it so how we will match it uh, okay so basically it's very easy so let's understand it by powerpoint so here is our hacker ranks uh, algorithm and the same challenge i am going to explain here so what we have size we have size of 9 and array which they have taken what we have done till now we have shorted array so what it will be then array 10 10 10 10 20 20 20 30 and 50 okay now we what we are going to do we are going to understand all the loops we are going to make the loop okay so for the loop so first this is the zeroth element first second third fourth and all the respectively so what we what we should do how we should match and making the pairs of all so zeroth we will start from it to zero so c of zero and c of one so what is it is it is 10 10 so it is two and pair should be a one it's it, it is a one pair okay now if for zero and first has been covered so how we will start it from we, we should start from the second so second and the third so c of two and c of three which is 10 is equal to 10 which should be result should be a true and the it is be a second pair 
okay now what should be a next pair so 20 and 20 okay so c of 4 and c of 5 20 20 so it is a true it is a third pair now what is our next pair which is this c of 6 and c of 7 okay so does 20 and 30 match no so it is a false so if that is a not false so here you can see that uh, we have two two number of gaps 0 2 2 4 because we have make a pair so we should not cover the same socks for the next one so here we have not matched the pair so we need to start it from the 7 so c of 7 is equal to c of 8 so 30 and 50 is also not match so we are not going to do that so it is a false so let's let's we have now understand the logic and let's try to same thing implement in the java so let's go to again in our hacker rank account so what we have done we have done the arrays of short okay and uh, this is our loop for i teacher i is equal to 0 i less than n and i plus plus so what we have uh, what we need to do we need to do a comparison firstly c of i is equal to is equal to c of i plus 1 okay c of i plus 1 how we need, we should match with the next sorts okay so initially first first what we should do uh, if we will compare it if, if this loop will be iterate then uh, if the next eighth element should be a come and if the eight and nine ninth element is will not found because our array start from the zero so till what the element we need to iterate we need to iterate c n minus one because we are taking here i plus one okay now now next next what should we do that if i should be less than of n i should be a less than of n then only we should cover okay then then only we should iterate so that's the so, the so this c of i plus one it should not give a problem because we are considering a next element if we are finding a next element so what does it mean we have found a pair so we need to increment a total okay now if zeroth and first element has been it uh, has been matched means 10 and 10 has been matched then we should not start it from the one we should start it from the two okay so here if we will understand that it will start from the one then what should we do we should do i is equal to i plus one simple so what it will count it will count from the not zero then one it will count from the two okay so so let's uh, uh, print the output and let's check that we have passed the all the test cases or not but before that we need to print the total okay so let's run the code it's a processing okay so we have passed the initial test cases so let's submit the code and check that uh, we have passed the all test cases or not so Congratulations guys, we have completed this challenge without using any of the major uh, logic of the collection. Okay, so this is a very basic practice with the for loop and you can consider all the things. Thank you guys, thank you for watching my video. Please like my uh, videos, please comment below the video, please share my video, please visit a brighterapi.com. Thank you guys, please subscribe my channel, please do comment. Thank you guys, thank you for watching my video. Thank you very much.